Hi everyone, hope everything's well with you this week. Today's piece would be just a dark purple background with uh, two fish in the center. So I don't know how this would turn out to be, um, but we'll play around and see. So I have been practicing uh, trying to polish up my uh, fish pour and this is my third set of fish. Um, so I've already mixed all the colors. Um, in advance. Um, my paints I just mix with water and that's it. So now I'm just going to blow everything out first. Um, the reason why I color the sides is so that you know in case the paints um, drag in the center then at least the edges are all covered up um, evenly so that's the only reason. So um, if you're new to my channel please subscribe because by subscribing you will help me to build you know another um audience here and it will help support me to make more videos for you guys so so yes please don't forget to subscribe um you can follow me on instagram which is sarahso.art and uh and my facebook too so thank you right let's get back to the base i'm just gonna pour them to cover up the whole base with purple Now I'm going to touch this piece because there are a lot of uh, tiny bubbles in the mixture so I'm just going to blow the bubble air bubbles up first. What I have in my mind for this piece is two fish swimming opposite direction in a shape of an eye. So what I'm going to do is pour the line above like an arch like the eyelid and then this is the bottom eyelid on the other side and then I'm going to do the same with different colors as well. with the hair dryer so arch one way and then arch the bottom part as well to do is just mix your paints and stir it really vigorously and you have a lot of a lot of tiny bubbles or the tiny cells here I'm going to build an image of a fish just using the straw 
to form shapes, obviously you have to understand how a fish looks like. And uh, even though I'm not a pro at drawing any fish, um, I'm just gonna use my imagination to blow out, you know, a figure of a uh, a figure of a fish. <laughs> Thank you.
whiskers on my fish. I think they're called whiskers, I'm not sure. <laughs> so I want this fish to be koi looking or I want this fish to look like koi fish. So, so these are the whiskers and then I'm just going to make it a bit more flowy. So I'm just going to use the color knife to wiggle it. Time to add in the eyes, so just a dot of this is a titanium buffy white, and because it's titanium, so and it's opaque, so that is why it's heavy and the white sinks inside. But oh well, so I'm just going to add the black dot as the eye. Hmm, now it looks like a fish, and oops. <laughs> Now let's just hope that it stays in the shape of a fish because as we all know liquid, you know, they love to run out of shape all the time. So yeah, if not I have to touch up the eyes again. So, right, this is how I do the eyes. Talking about that the eyes are gone again, so I'll have to keep adding the white and the black. results look at all the vibrant colors look at the eyes um, just look at all the colors and the cells this is just paint and water nothing else now the eyes is not very visible because it's sunk in again but I'll touch it up later um, when the paint is a little bit more dry so that the paints won't sink inside so hope you guys enjoyed this video take care you guys and i'll see you guys soon again bye